And welcome back to the Madhouse Asylum server. I am the Colonel. Thank you for joining me today. So I'm making my way back to our hacienda. And uh, so this is kind of what the new spawn area is looking like. I think I showed this to you in a previous episode. Um, but they have uh, reworked the tunnel that I dug out for myself. Done some decorating. And, uh, I found something that, uh... <laughs> what the crap is basically what I thought. Colonel's open fence gate. Don't touch. <laughs> I'm touching it, man. It's closed. <laughs> what do we got here? Oh, all my stuff that was now... Oh, that was cool. Thank you. I had that chest down, uh, in the little building down under us. And, uh, looks like they moved everything up. Sweet! Thank you. And they got rid of the diagonal because it was following the lay of the land, but that's cool. Appreciate it, guys. Appreciate it. Love the background music. Alright, so we are back here at the Hacienda. And I think first item of business. Oh crap, I forgot my axe. <laughs> <sighs> All right, I went and got a pickaxe made so that I can. I really need to unload this stuff from last episode. I uh, made up a pickaxe. What is going on here? Let's try that again. I made a pickaxe so that I could repair this one, and obviously I forgot at the old base. So uh, I'm gonna go back, grab it, and re-enchant it or repair it here, and then we're gonna start taking this stuff down. So back in the jiff. You gotta be kidding me. Uh. Alright, we are almost done with all of this chopping. And uh, it's nice to have this area cleared again. So we'll finish. Oops. Finish with, uh, with this. And then uh, gather ourselves to start our new project. And the new project is going to be a wool farm, but not just any wool farm, a semi-automated wool farm with some fun stuff and some rails and all sorts of stuff. It's kind of a, there's a few different ways of shearing sheep <laughs> and I found a few of them online. And there's some that use a similar, I mean, uh, not the same method that I'm going to use, but similar methods. And uh, there's some that use, I'm basically taking a piece of a bunch of different designs and kind of throwing it into something of my own. Uh, make it a little more fun uh, rather than purely functional. So we are going to get started on that today. Um, so let me unload some of this wood and uh, then we'll... Go grab some stuff and be right back. So apparently I have gathered my materials. <laughs> Started working on some of the stuff that um, was going to be a little little vanilla. <laughs> pardon the pun. Um, the actual build itself is, is what we're going to work on now. Um, but I've kind of put a framework out here. And... Um, this is what I have in store. <laughs> a short, squat, fat sheep. And uh, we're going to put our little sheep farm inside this guy. And we're going to have a, a head. And inside the head is where we're going to have all of our storage and stuff. Um, it'll take shape uh, as we go. But uh, first thing I need to do is to get the infrastructure in place and we'll grab this stuff and this stuff and that and that uh, and basically uh, you know what while I'm down here I might as well share some sheep uh, so what we're gonna do is have an automated 
sheep farm like we mentioned and uh, what we want to do is basically set up the tracks right now and set up at least one of the the uh, I guess one of the rows is I guess what you could call them I'm not really quite sure what the appropriate word is but let's go with row um, and each each of the rows is I guess it's gonna be its own little module and we can repeat it uh, a couple of times to fill out the inside of our sheep and so it's going to be about two chunks long and about one chunk wide so he's a uh, not a small sheep at all and we're gonna need lots of wool uh, so basically what I've done up there is I've built it out of clay or at least the inside um, it looks kind of like a sheep uh, just because of the skin color that we're using uh, with this is a uh, white stained clay and obviously we've got stone here and so we've got this white stained clay all the way up the inside uh, so the outside is completely made of wool now I've probably gone overboard with with the wool or with the clay rather uh, and the reason for that is because I don't want this thing to burn down. And most of the material that we're going to use on the inside is going to be wood. And uh, obviously the outside of it is going to be made of wool. So if we get struck by lightning and a storm or whatever, um, you know, there's a possibility that it might get burnt down. Because I've seen a lot of trees at spawn that have been... Uh, the look, unless somebody's going around doing something weird, and I don't think that's the case, um, it's most likely a storm or something that is uh, striking the trees and setting them on fire, which is leaving kind of ratty looking mess. So, um, rather than have that happen to our sheep here, uh, we are going to make the inside material out of clay so that we don't have anything burning up because um, as I say most of the stuff on the inside is going to be made of wood and we don't want our hard work to be burnt to a crisp so uh, let me complete We're almost there almost there and then we can start on the first module um, so I tested this in a test world, and I'm not sure how it's going to translate to a server world. It's not completely automated, and, you know, it's it's not completely, uh, how shall I say, efficient, I guess. It's efficient, but it's not, you know, ridiculously efficient. Uh, so, let us, uh, probably, let's do this one here. Okay, uh, so the bottom level actually is going to be made, we're, we're going to use the, this, oh, nuts, oh, crap, <laughs> all right, I've, I've already messed myself up here, oh, crap, so the clay, I need to go up on the inside, because if I don't, then I don't have anything protecting the inside. Nuts, man! Ah, how far, how wide is this? 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. It's exactly 16 wide, which is exactly my dimensions. Oh, man. I may end up having to cheat because I don't, I really don't want to rebuild this again. Um, <laughs> crap. <sighs> All right, well, screw it. Let's see how this goes. So we're going to run these guys down the line. And it's basically, it's going to be a huge loop. And we're going to have two stories. So this is going to be, you know, almost uh, 16 blocks high, if not exactly 16 blocks high. So, uh, and I hope to God I have enough tracks. I won't have enough tracks to do the whole thing, not yet, but we can, 
you know, we can take care of that later. Um, let's see. So this guy goes like this. And we have one, two, three. There we go. And we're going to have to put powered rails in here at some point. Just to keep us propelled. Uh, so the idea is that we're going to ride in a mine cart and shear the sheep as we go. And then, um, I lost my train of thought. I had an itchy beard. <laughs> I had to scratch it and I lost my train of thought. It was euphoric. <laughs> oh, Lord. So we're, we're basically going to run down here and shear our sheep and then turn around the corner and then shear our sheep and basically go all the way around. And then by the time that we get back up to the top, we'll come back down and start over again. And by that time, most of the sheep should have regrown their wool um, because it's going to take us that long to go around the whole circuit. Um, so I'm hoping that it works out the way I think it's going to work out. Um, and then we'll, we'll come back and, um, we'll dump our wool into a, a chest or something. And that will get sent up into the head, which is where we'll have our sorting system. But we'll worry about that later. Um, you know, Tripper was actually asking me for snow and I just realized that there's snow over there. Hmm. There's also snow over there. I told him about that spot. I didn't know it was this close to the base. Interesting. Well, if uh, he'll probably have the snow by the time this episode airs. But uh, if he doesn't, uh, there's some snow there. Uh, okay, so we were going to build this one, two, three, four out. Uh, okay. So the structure itself is going to look something like this. And I'm leaving this open because I'm going to need to get the sheep up here somehow. And I think what I'm going to use is some rail lines just to kind of go in a circle and bring them up. Um, but for now, uh, let us build this out. So the stall is going to basically be the length of the length of the sheep. Oops. And um, we're going to have grass here and grass here. And then we're going to have grass on the upper level as well. So <clears throat> actually, I don't think I have it with me. I'm going to have to go grab it. So let us go grab our grass. And I think I wanted to have some stained glass there too. Uh, but I'm not going to worry about the stained glass for now. Um, we'll just use some cobblestone or something like that in the interim. Uh, so we are going to put grass here. Sheep are going to go here. And then... Doo, doo, doo. There we go. And then there will be grass up here. Uh, which should... Which should, I think, it should allow the grass down here to grow. Actually, the grass is going to be up here. Dun, 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 up here. So, uh, I need to probably put some half slabs up the top. But, I can do that later. Just to make sure nothing spawns up there. Okay. So this is basically one module. So let me go grab some, uh, eh, we can fall down here. I love my feather falling four boots. There was an incident earlier, um, where, uh, a death games incident. And I lost my other pair of feather falling. So I had to make some new ones and I also lost my bow, got a new bow. Not sure I like the fire on it, but it is an infinity bow, so can't really complain. Uh, let's see. So what did I need to do? I need to get some grass. So uh, we've also done some work with the nether portals. We've got this. 
<laughs> so they made a joke. Uh, do not touch. It was Colonel's open fence gate. And uh, it is now a closed fence gate. Please keep it closed. Thank you. So uh, this is our portal. And we've got the whole hallway done here. And I've also added another portal to the base at spawn here. Cool. And the other portal that we kept linking to over there, uh, I moved that up so that we're close to where the spawn portal is supposed to go. So, sweet. Uh, I looked up the recipe for these. This is only takes one ender ball. So we made one of these. Uh, I'm going to have to make some more, but I want to save my balls uh, for that. Uh, what was I grabbing? Grass. That sounded weird. Okay, there's some grass. Probably get some more dirt. And what else do I need? I don't think I need anything else. Do I have any glass? Eh, we'll leave the glass for now. So that's it. As I was saying, let's head back and uh, we'll continue with the module. Alright, we are back. So, what I think I'm going to do is space these out. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Not sure how far the grass... Well, I know how far, <laughs> how far the grass spreads, but I don't know how far my uh, the grass I've got here will last us. So... Might as well use the grass mechanics since we're not going to be using uh, using it anytime soon, I don't think. Okay. So let's do the other side. Okay. So now we have that. Now we need to have one up here too. go and what this will do is this will ensure that if for whatever reason the grass below uh, is all eaten up that it will allow the grass to grow again uh, I'm not positive on the grass we can I think you can skip a block as long as there's something connecting the two um, at least the kind of like this block here, I think allows the grass to hop down. Um, but the grass b between the blocks here doesn't allow that. Can't, I don't, I don't, I'm not an expert <laughs> on grass mechanics, so, uh, I don't know if that is completely correct. Sounds good though, right? All right, let's, uh, finish this up. Okay, so this is going to go up another, uh, and we are going to go up one more. I think that's right. And we're going to put some torches down here. Probably don't need to slab that. Oh, you know what? That's what I wanted to do. I think I'm going to put some glowstone down there. So we'll leave that open for now. Uh, but we will put some torches up here. Okay. Make sure that's lit up there. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the upper deck for now. Uh, but we will build it up, as I say, two up so that there's... This grass doesn't disappear. All right. So what we do want to have is some more of this clay. And I think I'm going to steal some from over here. OK. 
Okay, so what we're going to do is have the train tracks loop back like so. Okay. So when we put our cart down, and I think we're going to have to put a button somewhere. Whoa, maybe. So we do our shear, 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 shear. And we'll have some powered lines down. Well, probably have the power line down the end. Come around the corner. Do it all again. And then when we come around this one, there'll be another one. And we'll just have more sheep down here. So the idea is that we're going to have three of these stalls. Uh, one here, and then one here, and then two for the tracks, and then th one here, and then another one. So we might build a wall here of the uh, the clay. Not sure yet. Uh, we'll figure that out when we get closer to doing that. Um, so I'm going to build this three high. So what I'm going to do... Is so I'm going to try and get uh, get these in place here. Um, yeah, I'm going to build all the the three stalls out. Uh, I need to go get some more clay, so we'll finish this level off so that we can finish this level off, and then uh, we back with you to see what, about loading some sheep in there. Alrighty, things are starting to come together. It appears. And uh, so what we've done, <laughs> I've got a little train track here, and this is basically to let oh, chicken get in there, to let uh, one of these guys out at a time, and we'll stick him in a mine cart, and we'll ride him up. So let's do that now while we're here. There we go. Push this bad boy up. It's like, what is going on? <laughs> All right, so we're going to follow him up just to make sure he gets up there. Now, I did kind of... What the hell happened? Did he come back down? <laughs> did he come back down? He totally did. What a cow. All right, let's try this again, punk. Go, what are you doing, dude? Go. <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, as I was saying, I did kind of screw up with uh, the chamber uh, I only made it one high, but these guys are one and a half high, and, oh, there we went. These guys are one and a half high, and uh, so I had to make it too high, otherwise they'd smother. What is going on? This... Oh, he died. Great. I didn't have this problem earlier. What the hell's going on? I got two of them up there. So that guy, I think, made it. Yeah, there he is. All right. So these guys are uh, too high now. Um, and they're fine in here. This this actually is supposed to be here. Uh, but I wanted to make sure that they couldn't get back out. So um, what we're going to have is... So these guys are, are one high, and these are these sheep are one and a half, so they won't be able to get out uh, in this one high space. And you're a little glitched out. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Um, so basically, we're just going to run around and, and 
shear these guys. So here is what the final, sort of the final product looks like. Uh, so we've got the three different modules. And uh, we're going to, once we have everybody up here, um, we're going to block this off. Oh, damn, Oliver. <laughs> Uh, so, and then we'll be able to run the tracks back and forth. Um, so I had to move these guys up one and they don't seem to be spreading the grass as nicely as I thought they should be. Uh, on my test, test world, this worked fine and it actually sent the grass down. So I don't know why. I don't know why it's not spreading as well. And I don't know why this side isn't getting any. Maybe it just goes down and not up. I don't know. Uh, but we shall just let it go for now and uh, see if it works. I did, as I say, I did try it before uh, in the test world. And I had all of these guys as dirt blocks. And these guys were grass blocks. And everything worked fine. Um, we are connected down the other end. Right here, so I'm not sure what's going on. The grass block is right there, so it should somehow come down. I guess not. Oliver, man, having some troubles. <laughs> so um, I'm going to work on getting the rest of these guys up here and. Um, once I have this line in place, uh, we're going to have about 17, I think is what I calculated, um, 17 white sheep here, and actually I'll probably just fill it up with white sheep and then we'll just dye them later. Um, so just want to get all of the sheep up here, and we'll also continue to breed these guys as well. So. Uh, I will uh, get to work on that, and we'll come back once we've got uh, at least all of the sheep down there up here, and then we can work on trying to get these guys spread out and bred across these. I'll probably put, probably be a good idea for me to move one more here, and then two here, two here, two here, two here. And just do it all white, and then I can dye them later. I think that's probably the best idea. Uh, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. All right, so I will be back in a bit. All right, so I made a slight miscalculation. Um, so the the sheep are one and a half highs, right? So they're they're going to be stuck up here. But when I tried to breed them. Uh, <laughs> Sheep got out because <laughs> the little guys are one high and this is a one high block so they can obviously escape. So what I had forgotten that I did in my test world was to put these guys in. And this should prevent them from escaping. At least I think it will. because the fences are one and a half high. So let's get these in, and then we'll test it out. Uh, you, buddy, need to go down there a little more. There you go. Oops, crap. There we go. down the end here. Alright. <laughs> Scoot. Scoot, buddy. There you go. Alright. So now we got this in place. So let's test it out. Let's breed a couple of these guys. stay in there cool 
Cool beans. All right, so we're just gonna do that for the rest of these guys. Oh no, how'd you get out? Did you actually breed on the ground? Oh man. All right, so it's imperfect. <laughs> uh, you know, if if I put tracks down here, I don't think that would be a problem. So I'll play with this. Uh, I think I think the solution is to put tracks down because I had tracks down in my test world, and this never happened. So um, yeah, I'll get some tracks down, and we'll try and rebreed these guys and get them done. Not just in this row, but these rows as well since we've got sheep down in each one of these so um see how this goes hopefully we can get a wait how did you get in there oh you can't okay or was it just a glitch all right what how are you getting out Or do I have to do I have to put them here? Well, that's no, that's no good. That's good. Look away! Look away! Yeah. All right. So this should this should do it. Shouldn't be able to get out now. How did I do this before? <laughs> oh man, I tell you. All right, take a look at this again. Uh, and actually, I need to fix this. All right, so I'll uh, monitor this, and uh, if anything changes, I'll let you know. Otherwise, um, I guess we'll come back when we've got all of these cells bred up and at stock capacity. So I have been busy. <laughs> um, so the, the problem that we were having before with um, with the little guys getting out. Uh, so I had put the the fence gate, the fences right here, and that's not where they need to be. Uh, I actually had that open, um, and what I did was I had dug down here and put the fences here. So that way, the little guys couldn't hop over the fence, but they still couldn't get under. So, I guess these are one and a half high, but because they started at this block here, um, there's still this one full block underneath it. So, uh, you know, <laughs> we learn. Um, and I, I'm pretty sure I had that sorted out in my test world, but, you know, nothing's perfect. So, we figured it out. Got everybody breeded up. I think we've got around 20 to 25 sheep in each of these rows. And so they're stuck in here. And we got all the rows filled with white sheep because I want to finish this thing. Um, and we haven't done the up. I've started building the upper part, um, but it's not ready yet. Um, I still need to get some sheep up here and I still need to finish this. Um, but we're going to do that, I think, in off-camera, because it's going to take a lot of finagling to get uh, more of the sheep up here and to breed these guys up as well. We still have some sheep, sheep left downstairs in the original farm, so we'll bring them up. Uh, so you can see we started uh, framing out the upper part, so I want to finish the top so that it's enclosed uh, so that I can put the clay in underneath it and make it a little easier to do. Uh, but... Um, I'm probably going to run out of clay because I think this is the last of the clay that I have. However, um, Bubbalot was on earlier and he said he came across a mesa biome. Gave me the coordinates, so we're going to try and dig a uh, path through the nether and set up a portal over there so that we can get access to the mesa. And apparently there's a desert, so hopefully we can find some green, some cactus. <laughs> so we can make cactus green for the dyes. Um, but I think this is coming along very, very nicely. Uh, I wanted to do a test run just so you can see it in action. 
Uh, it's not the most, you know, it's not 100% efficient just because of the, we're on a server and we've got powered rails, so we're going to be zooming around, so we're, we're going to miss the odd sheep and we're going to leave a lot of stuff behind, so we're going to do two passes of this, so let us, uh, oh, you know what, dingleberry me, I don't have, don't have my shears, there we go. So we'll do one run through, and I think we'll call it an episode, and then we'll uh, hopefully try and finish this off in the next one. Um, we still need to go find a bunch of different sheep. We've got the brown sheep, so we can get those guys up here. That shouldn't be a problem. So let's uh, let's do this. All right, here we go. Not the most efficient thing. We're going to slow down a bit and then we're going to speed up a lot. The old um, old versions of Minecraft, you actually kept your direction uh, when you went around a corner. But that is not the case with the later versions. I think I'm missing a lot of these. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Lag. <laughs> And I also had to redo the ends, and I'll, I'll point those out in a second. There we go. And we're back at the start. So let's go back and clean up our stuff. Um, so you can see these guys here. I had to do that so that we could step the grass up. Um, I don't know. I can't... I th I had it working differently in the test world, but it doesn't seem to be working here, so uh, rather than mess around with it anymore, I just uh, had it step up so that there was diagonal uh, adjacency with the grass blocks so that they could spread, so uh, these guys will always be replenished. Uh, let's see how much wool we got from that one pass and I think we had maybe a stack and a half so around four stacks I think is what we more or less got from this so that's pretty Oop, no, 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 no dang it <laughs> alright fine <laughs> go there <laughs> see if I care uh, so we got four or five Four stacks of wool-ish, and uh, we'll get another four stacks up there. So that's eight stacks of wool. Um, so that's like a thousand wool <laughs> right there. So if we uh, extend expand this to have different colors, then we can have you know a really sweet wool farm, uh, wool on demand, pretty much. So um, in the next episode, I think we will uh, have we might. Actually, I might record the uh, the mesa, and then um, and then we'll come back, try and finish off the roof. Uh, I need to put some glowstone in the roof, but we'll do that later. Um, and we'll try and get all the sheep up here and uh, get this thing pretty much ready to go, so that we can start working on the inventory system. So, anyway. If you have any comments or suggestions, please feel free to leave them below. And until next episode, please do take care. Oh, yeah. You know you like that. Give it a thumbs up. What's on your mind? Leave the text below.